What's up, everyone? Mark here with another episode of Mark's Remarks. And man, there's so much going on right now. So I'm just going to jump right into it. For one, everything people have been saying about the South Park game is freaking true. That game is dope. Oh, I'm not allowed to say that anymore. I'm not allowed to say things are dope anymore. <laughs> I'm glad I caught myself on the first one. I got called out for saying the word dope too much. Uh, that's not very dope, if you ask me. Uh, the South Park game is its hilarious. If you, if, I've, I've seen episodes 1 through season 15, uh, from season 1 to season 15, and I've pretty much gotten almost every single joke, and there's just, there's so much jam-packed in that game that even, even the little collectibles you find, you're just like, ah, I remember that from the show, even if other people don't, like, it's cool. Um, the music's awesome. I love that when you walk into a store, it's it's playing a song from the movie, uh, like Taco Flavor Keezies and and just uh, the uh, the sports montage song. It's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff in that game. The music itself, just the music for the game itself, is actually really cool. It's like I'm like surprised. I'm like wow, this is like really good music. I mean, South Park generally has had actually surprisingly good music. You know. Um, I'm trying to think of like the the coon episode. The music in that episode is like spot on. They really tried to make it like Hans Zimmerish, and everybody knows I'm a fan of Hans Zimmer. And uh, um, they they like really like made it sound like that. It's it's really cool to hear. Um, I don't want to spoil anything for the game. I'm not super far. I'm only like three to four hours into it. Uh, the wife's farther than I am into it. Uh, but I'm hoping to try to get some time in this weekend and check it out because it. I want to beat it. Like I want to, I want to soak in all the jokes. I want to get them all. I want to see them all. So uh, hopefully, I can get in uh, sometime this weekend and be able to to play it some more. Um, as far as news goes, man, there's a lot of news. It's been like four or five days since I've done an episode. When the wife's home, I can't do episodes because I'm like she's like sitting right there, and I'm just like blah 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 video games, and I feel like I'm being judged. Where it's like. If I just hurry up and record it, by the time she hears it, she's like, you said it's, I'm like, I don't care. It's already done. It's already on the internet. I don't even care anymore. On to the next one, you know? So she's finally gone today. Thank God. And, uh, and, uh, can get back to, uh, some Mark's remarks. Definitely going to be one tomorrow too. She'll be gone tomorrow. <laughs> I'm making it sound so happy that she's gone. I just, I like, I like being able to do Mark's remarks. She did come up with a good idea about using a tablet to do it. And uh, I have a tablet, so I might, uh, Look into that to keep more consistent episodes going. Um, so, news-wise, Last of Us is making a movie. Well, not The Last of Us is making a movie. They're making a Last of Us movie, which, you know, that's, like, really cool. Maybe. <laughs> um, I think it'll be cool. It's, uh, it's, it's always scary when you're going to a movie, because obviously, like, what are they going to do? Are they going to make a, a Joel and Ellie movie? Like, what's the point of that? Because the the game itself, it's it's a 10-hour story. That's like making a Beyond Two Souls movie. They can't do it. Uh, Beyond Two Souls is already a 12-hour movie. And so to be able to, you know, well, what are they going to do? Just make a two-and-a-half-hour, you know, summarized version of everything that happened to Jody Holmes in that movie or, or Ellen and Joel in The Last of Us? Like, there's, there's really uh, no point. So that means they're... They're going to be straying away, probably, from that because because they also they don't want to make a sequel to the game because what if they want to you know in, in a movie form because what if they want to make um they're 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 in talks it's not in production or anything but Naughty Dog said that they are brainstorming ideas for a possible sequel to The Last of Us so you don't want to put that in a movie you want to be able to make another great game if they do that in the movie then what are they going to do make a sequel to the movie. It's too many different mediums of trying to get caught up in the story later on. Okay, now I gotta play the game. Okay, now I'm gonna watch the movie. Okay, now I'm gonna play the third game. Like, it, it just doesn't really work like that. So, it could be cool. I think it will be. But, uh, uh, there's already so many, like, uh, video, uh, like, movie and TV shows about zombies. Like, is this just gonna be another zombie, uh, 
you know, uh, TV show. I, I know The Last of Us isn't just about like zombies and stuff, but at the same time, you know, Walking Dead has an intriguing story with a zombie apocalyptic uh, apocalyptic world as the backdrop. So is that what The Last of Us is going to be? Is this crazy good story with just an apocalyptic world in the back as the backdrop of the story? Who who knows? Um, but uh, you know, can't wait to see more on that. Uh, let's see. Uh, Arkham Knight was announced, and what's cool about Arkham Knight is they're kind of I don't know I don't know how to explain it. They're it almost seems like they're ignoring Arkham Origins because um, Rocksteady didn't make Arkham Origins. They made you know the first and the second one. So they're what it's what it looks like they're doing is they're basically treating Arkham Knight like just the third in a trilogy since they didn't make Origins. Origins you know Origins would essentially make arkham city the third movie or the third game um so it's it's they're treating it like it's the third one and they said this is the final batman game from them and i'm not a huge like arkham fan i've never even beat any of the three that exist um what i do like is uh maybe when they finish arkham knight i you know i know they had said i think it was a few years ago they had said you know what's something people would want us to tackle next and obviously they didn't do that. Obviously they just went and made another Arkham game. But I'd really love to see a good, like, uh, not a movie tie-in, but like a good Spider-Man game. I feel like that'd be really fun. And um, the like the Amazing Spider-Man, I thought that was a pretty good game for a movie tie-in. So if they could actually work 100%, you know, fuck the movies, this is the game. Um, that'd be really cool. A another good idea would be Superman. The issue with that I that that I have with Superman that um, the reason Superman's such a hard character to put in media besides comic books is he's so hard to he's so like invincible that uh, you know that's why a lot of people said the movie wasn't that great is is what can stop him Kryptonite you know like and and when they made the movie they even said they weren't gonna go the Kryptonite route. So it's really hard. You're really pushing the the edge of your imagination of, of things that can beat Superman. You know, when you're when you're running around on Arkham or Arkham, whatever, uh, you know, you're fighting guys, and you know sometimes these guys can beat you. You know, but like Batman or uh, Superman wouldn't have those same struggles. He would just land and he would just destroy everybody. Um, so what? Everybody's gonna have kryptonite like gloves on. You know, it's it's. It'd be cool, but it's just so hard to do. <laughs> Moving on. Sin City 2. Man, that movie looks really cool. I didn't know Joseph, jo <laughs> Joseph Gordon-Levitt was going to be in it. And, and it, it looks really cool. Uh, you know, visually, it looks amazing. And uh, I remember watching the first Sin City nine years ago. And uh, I thought it was really cool. And so like, I thought Sin City 2 came out a long time ago. And they're like, hey, here's the trailer for Sin City 2. And I'm like the fuck like i thought this movie came out a ton like a long ass time ago uh so that's really cool um but i, I kind of you know wasn't super surprised that was coming because i mean the, the the trailer wasn't the first i'd seen about it i'd seen in the recent months that they're finally getting sin city 2 done um what i didn't know about was that they're gonna make another zorro movie and so sony is uh you know gonna be the studio behind it what's cool about it is it says they're taking a uh, like a dark knight approach to the uh, to the zorro story i like i haven't seen the antonio banderas ones in a long time like probably since i was a kid but if i remember you know they were pretty funny um where with this one it says they're gonna be like you know more gritty and and have a more emotional core and so you know that'll be cool to maybe get another take on it um yeah, all I remember is is it being kind of funny. I don't remember what was funny about it, though, because I haven't seen it in so long. And then last but not least, May 27th, Watch Dogs is finally coming out. God, that game looks so amazing. I saw some gameplay on it. I saw a story trailer. They just released uh, info that it's going to have, like, eight-player open-world multiplayer. Um, Like, they're showing all the... Uh, I was reading on IGN about... As one of the guys was playing it and was showing all the different ways that it's different from Grand Theft Auto 5. You know, running from the cops. It's not just a, oh my god, drive away really fast. It's uh, 
It's, uh, you know, messing with the streetlights cause accidents, messing with bridges so you get across them before they do. And man, that game looks really cool. Um, that's it for news, yo. Uh, as far as what's been up to with me, um, I hate to say it, but I was wrong about Plants vs. Zombies. That game is not super... It's fun, but there's just not enough to keep me there. I'm bored after three or four days, which is really disappointing because I was so excited for that game. And then I got out of my hands and I was like, yo, this is really fun. And then it got really not fun. And it was just kind of the same thing over and over. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it would be more like... Uh, What's that game? Orcs Must Die 2. I know I keep comparing it, but, you know, I thought, like, you'd be able to make your flowers when in the garden ops modes uh, to, like, actually defend your garden and stuff like that. But you can only put them in predetermined slots, and they can't be upgraded. So the thing is, is you can only... You, not only are you protecting your garden, and you have a limited number of these plants. It's not just... You just can't just keep rebuilding them. And the thing is is the zombies go for the plants. So you're not defending your garden anymore. If you want any hopes of surviving the later rounds, you gotta make sure your plants all stay alive. So you're having to defend all your plants too. And so it's just kind of bullshit that like you try to put them far away and they just go for it, kill it instantly. Ah, oh, it's good, yeah, it sucks, it sucks. Like I've, I don't know, I thought I'd, I thought it'd be so much more fun and it wasn't. Um, and then, so, you know, for uh, Nerd Herders news, Grand Theft Jedi 2 finally is out. Uh, some of the best editing I've probably done. Uh, I put all the special effects. I had talked in a, in a in a recent Marks for Marks episode saying, you know, all the special effects fall on me and I'm not a special effects guy and I don't really know how to do them. Well, I figured it out <laughs> and uh, it, I, it looks really cool. And I, I think the video came together really cool for, uh, for what it is. So uh, check it out. It's on the YouTube channel. Um, other than that, we don't really have anything in production for, you know, Nerd Herders are kind of, we're kind of split up right now. We're all just kind of doing our own thing. So we don't, we don't have anything, uh, anything going on anytime soon that I'm aware of. So I'll just keep pumping these out and maybe doing something else, uh, kind of solo. But for now there's, uh, there's nothing on the pipeline. So again, thanks for watching the episode, um, or listening, you know, they're meant to be watched or listened. It doesn't really matter. And, uh, thanks for clicking on any of our videos. If you watch Grand Theft Jedi 2, you know, like it, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you want to, you know, uh, we do appreciate when people do like our videos and, uh, leave comments. I love responding to the comments and, uh, shout out to Ronald Jenkins for providing this dope background music. <laughs> Screw. And, uh, other than that, thanks for uh, thanks for watching slash listening, and we'll see you next time. I'm out.